Hello, it's Nelly, and today's video will be about responsive slider from Huge IT. We're gonna see how to install and use free features of this plugin. Why I've chosen this plugin? Well, it's new in Huge IT and has very interesting construction starting with the functionality, possibilities and look. Fully responsive and user-friendly layout will allow you to enjoy this plugin. Let's start with the installation. Go to your website. In Plugins, click Add New and search for Slider. You can see it here. Click Install Now. After installation, click Activate Plugin. So now we have it on the left toolbar. All we need to do is to click on sliders and start the work. In this page, you can see the list of your created sliders. I just have one, so I'll click on it and open the first page. If you want to add a new slider, from this page click on plus sign and it will open a brand new page where you can start adding your images and other things. Let me demonstrate how to use this slider on the existing one. From this first page we can see that it has several sections like general, arrows, thumbnails, ballots and short code. Let's start with the general. General section allows to make general settings on the slider. For example, give a name to your slider. This name will not be seen on the front end. Give width and height. By the way, when you set something here, you can use this preview button to watch the changes. Right now, I can watch my slider with 800 and 480 parameters. If I change it, on the preview page, the sizes will be changed as well. Also, you can change the size using these buttons. The other one is slider auto plate function. If you select this, the slider will be automatically slided. You can see I do nothing and it slides itself. Turn it off and the slider will be stopped. And you can watch the other images by just dragging the mouse from right to the left. Slider effect, it has several effects, for example it's on fade right now, I will change it to rotate axis down, let's check, so you can check them all, effect duration means the speed of the actual effect that you have chosen from here, it can be faster or slower, Slide interval, this is a pause time between each slide. If I put it on 200, the slider will change rather quickly. Next one is title. If you select this, you can have this title or do not have any title. Next to the title, you can see Style button. This button is for Pro Features. As my video is dedicated to only free features, I will not be able to show it. But I'll tell what it has. Uh, under the styles, you can change anything related to the text of the style. Make it smaller, bigger, add background, change color, font type and many other things. About the possibilities of Pro Feature, you can read from the user manual. I'll put the link of the user manual under the video. Next one is Description. 
which also has the same button for styling. By the way, you can move the title and description within the slider, put it anywhere, or change the size of the title box. Let's see. Also, when you drag it, you can see red and blue lines. This shows the center of the slider. Right now the title is on the very center. Next thing about general options is the slider custom element. You can put any kind of element on your slider. Let it be button or image or text. I will not be able to show this function because it's also in the pro features. Let's move on to the arrows. In this section you can add arrow to your slider. The default one is the second. Click on always to always have arrows on your slider. On hover. Hover the mouse and see them or never. Besides this default one you can choose the others but this is also a pro feature. Next one is thumbnails. You can watch the thumbnails of the images that your slider includes always on hover or never and decide the positioning default or show all. Default is when you can see as many thumbnails as much place there is for them. For example, on my slider I can fit maybe three or four thumbnails, no more. Show all will show every image that the slider contains. So I would recommend use this one. But as they are pro feature we will not be able to demonstrate it right now. Ballets. Using this you can add ballets, show it or do not show it. Position of the bullet, background, uh, operation, it can be horizontal, vertical, in one row, two or three. Inline space, the distance between each bullet, but this is also a pro feature, so let's move on um, to general options. Uh, as I've talked about general options, now let's see how to add new image into your slider click on add image button choose the image click insert and here you can see it drag and drop the image to put it in different place within the slider don't forget to click on save button to save these changes now let's see the third one is my new image here you see it Using these three buttons you can make quick actions like quick edit, change the name of the slide and description text, drag down to see the whole description. Click this button to remove the slide from the slider and this one to make this image public or not public. Let's see, I can't see this image anymore. If I make it public, here you go. Besides these quick actions, I can also make more deeper changes on each image. Click on it, go to the image page where you can write title, description, add some element exactly on this image, button, other image or text. As it's a pro feature, I will not be able to show it. Click save button after any changes and go back to your general options of the slider. So after you have created it, go to shortcut section. Take this shortcut to put it into your post or page or this one to insert into the template. I'll take this one, go into my page. and paste it here. Besides that you can use this quick button to insert the same short code. Click on update button and let's see the page. 
Here is the slider. Pay attention, the slider is also very responsive. Let's check the responsiveness on different layouts. For example, it's iPhone 6, Galaxy S5, Besides the responsiveness, on mobile phones you can also slide the images using your fingers by swiping them. And I guess that's all about the features of free version that we offer. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe our channel to see the other video about Pro features. And please thumbs up to this video. Thank you and bye!